みなさん、こんにちは。ローズです。Welcome back to 日本語。元気ですかこのビデオでは、レッスン38番の文法を紹介します。でも、その前に、レッスン37番の文法を復習しましょう。So first we've learned about how to form passive verbs. Passive verbs are used to state that something has been done to someone or something. Examples of passive verbs are shikarare mas to be scolded, homerare mas to be praised, sare mas which means be done, and so on. So, like I said, passive verbs are used when you want to express that someone has done something. To someone or something. So, examples of passive sentences that we've learned are Watashi wa inu ni kamaremashita. I was bitten by a dog. You can also say Watashi wa neko ni te o kamaremashita. I got my hand bitten by a cat. Another example Furansu de mukashi nihon no ega ga hakken saremashita. An old Japanese painting has been discovered in France. We've also learned nani nani niyotte when we want to express the person who created or discovered something. For example, Davide no chokoku wa Michelangelo niyotte orare mashita. The statue of David was sculpted by Michelangelo. We've also learned how to express when something is made of or from something. Which is using nani nani kara or nani nani de tsukurimas or tsukurare mas. For example, biru wa mugi kara tsukurare mas. Beer is made from barley. Hai, daijobu desu ka? Before we begin our lesson, make sure to check out the vocabulary list for this lesson. Sore dewa, lesson 38 ba no bunpo o benkyo shimasho. Here are the grammar points for today's lesson. To nominalize means to change a verb or an adjective into a noun. In Japanese, words such as nani nani koto is used as a nominalizer. So we've learned this in lesson 18, such as nani nani surukoto ga dekimasu or nani nani surukoto ga suki desu. So today we will learn another nominalizer, which is the particle no. So we attach this to its plain or dictionary form followed by no. For example, the verb tabemas or eat. So to change it into its nominalized form or into a noun, we just change tabemas to its dictionary form, which is taberu, followed by koto or no. So taberu koto or taberu no, which means to eat or eating. So once we've changed the verb into its nominalized form, we can now use it just like any noun in a sentence. So generally, nani nani koto and nani nani no can be used interchangeably, but there are some exceptions, which we will discuss later. And koto is more formal or usually used in written form, while nani nani no is more casual or used in spoken form. Now, let's learn how to use the nominalized form of the verb into different ways. The first one is using the nominalized verb with an adjective. So, we are just describing uh, a verb or doing verb. Doing verb is adjective. So, in a normal sentence, we have the noun and its um, description. For example, volleyball is fun. So, here we have the volleyball a noun, which is the subject, and our adjective is fun, tanoshi. So, bareboru wa tanoshi desu. However, if we want to say playing volleyball is difficult, so here it is more specific, playing volleyball. So, the pattern is change the verb into its dictionary form and then followed by no. So, what is our verb? Shimas or to play volleyball. So it's bareboru o suru. And then we add no. So here we've made the verb into its nominalized 
form or is noun form. Bareboru o suru no wa. Here is our topic marker and our adjective difficult. Muzukashi des. Bareboru o suru no wa. Muzukashi des. Another example watching volleyball. So instead of playing, here we have watching and it's described as interesting. So again, we change it to its nominalized form. Our verb is mimas to watch. Bareboru o miru no wa omoshiroi desu. Bareboru o miru no wa omoshiroi desu. Let's take a look at more examples. Commuting to work during rush hour is hard. Our verb is kayoimas or to commute or to go from one point to another back and forth. Rush ni kaisha ni kayo no wa taihen desu. Rush ni kaisha ni kayo no wa taihen desu. Drinking alcohol every day is bad for the body. Our verb is to drink or nomimas. We change it to its dictionary form. Mai nichi o sake o nomu no wa karada ni warui desu. Mai nichi o sake o nomu no wa karada ni warui desu. Taking a shower before going to bed feels good. Our verb is abimasu. Neru mai ni shawa o abiru no wa kimochi ga ii desu. Neru mai ni shawa o abiru no wa kimochi ga ii desu. Talking on the phone while driving is dangerous. Our verb is denwa shimasu. Denwa shimasu. So first, while driving is unten shinagara denwa suru no wa abunai desu. Unten shinagara denwa suru no wa abunai desu. So in the next pattern, instead of using wa, we will use ga. So if you remember, we use particle ga for sentences that express likes ga ski or dislikes ga kirai or skills and capabilities such as nani nani ga jōzu or nani nani ga heta or nani nani ga hayai nani nani ga osoi and so on so here we have our basic sentence when we want to express when we want to express that we like something for example i like flowers so here we just have a noun flowers so watashi wa hana ga Suki desu. However, if we want to say, I like growing flowers or I like planting flowers. So our verb is to grow something. So that temas, which is a group two verb. So we change it to its dictionary form. Watashi wa hana o sodateru no ga suki desu. Watashi wa hana o sodateru no ga suki desu. I like growing flowers. Other examples, I like taking a walk along the seashore. Our verb is to take a walk, sampo shimasu. Watashi wa kaigan o, kaigan means seashore. Kaigan o sampo suru no ga suki desu. Watashi wa kaigan o sampo suru no ga suki desu. I hate to lose. Our verb is makemas to lose. Watashi wa makeru no ga hate is kirai. Watashi wa makeru no ga kirai desu. Paul is not good at telling lies or lying. Our verb is uso o imasu to tell lies. Paulu san wa Uso o iu no ga heta desu. Paulu san wa uso no iu no ga heta desu. Pablo wakes up in the morning early. 
Our verb is to wake up. 起きます。パブロさんは朝起きるのが early is 早い。パブロさんは朝起きるのが早いです。Next is using the nominalized form of the verb with the verb wasoremashita to forget something. And when we use wasoremas, we use particle o. So this means forgot to do something or forgot to do a verb. But here is our basic sentence I forgot the key. So here we just have a noun, key. Watashi wa kagi o wasoremashita. Watashi wa kagi o wasoremashita. However, if we want to say, I forgot to lock the door. I forgot to lock the door. Our verb is, Kagi o kakemas. Kagi o kakemas. Doa no kagi o kakeru no wasoremashita. Doa no kagi o kakeru no wasoremashita. Other examples, I went grocery shopping, but I forgot. To buy milk. Our verb is to buy. Kaimas. Kaimono ni ikimashita ga. I went grocery shopping, but. Gyunyu o kao no o wasoremashita. Kaimono ni ikimashita ga. Gyunyu o kao no o wasoremashita. I did my homework, but I forgot to bring it today. Our verb is motikimas to bring. Shukudai o shimashita ga kyo motekuru no o wasoremashita. Shukudai o shimashita ga kyo motekuru no o wasoremashita. Next is using the nominalized form of the verb with shiteimas ga. Do you know that? First example, do you know Mr. Chu's email address? Chu san no denshi mail o shite masu ka? Chu san no denshi mail o shite masu ka? So here we just have a noun, email address. Do you know Mr. Chu's email address? So we don't have a verb yet. So the other person might answer, no, I don't. Ie, shirimasen. Now, another example using a verb. Do you know that Maria had a baby? Our verb is umaremas. Maria san ni akachan ga umareta no o shite masu ka? Maria san ni akachan ga umareta no o shite masu ka? So, this literally means that a baby was born by. Maria or Miss Maria. That's why it's Maria san ni akachan ga omareta. Omarimas is an intransitive verb. The other person might answer, No, I didn't, but now I do. So, ie, shirimasen deshita. So, notice the difference between shirimasen, no, I don't, and shirimasen deshita. So, before the The other person didn't know that information, but since you asked the question, the person now d o know the information. So that's why it's shirimasen deshita. Do you know that Mr. Gauto is going to get married next month? Our verb is kekkon shimas. Gauto san ga raigetsu kekkon suru no o shite masu ka? Gauto san ga rai gesu kekkon suru no o shite masu ka? Do you know that Miss Kitagawa is in the hospital? Our verb is nyu in shimas. Kitagawa sensei ga nyu in shite iru no o shite masu ka? Kitagawa sensei ga nyu in shite iru no o shite masu ka? So here we have shite imasu because currently She is in the hospital. Do you know that a UFO was seen in the US? Our verb is mimas. UFO ga Amerika de mirareta no o 
知ってますか ?UFO がアメリカで見られたのを知ってますか ?OK, next is using verbs, e-adjectives, na-adjectives and nouns in plain form, followed by no wa, and then followed by another noun. So this basically means noun is noun. So for example, my daughter was born in a small town in Hokkaido. 娘は北海道の小さな町で生まれました。So here the topic is the daughter. However, if you want to change it to my daughter's birthplace is a small town in Hokkaido. So we've Switch this too. So now our topic is the birthplace of the daughter. So in the first sentence, the topic is the daughter. We're talking about the daughter, and the information is that she was born in a small town in Hokkaido. Now, on the second sentence, the topic is the birthplace or the place, and it is described as a small town in Hokkaido. So using this pattern, Musome ga. Umareta no wa. So here, no will replace the thing, person, or place. So instead of saying, Musome ga umareta tokoro. So instead of saying tokoro, we replace that with no, followed by wa. Musome ga umareta no wa. Hokkaido no chisa na machi desu. Another example, December is the busiest month of the year. 12月は1年で一番忙しい月です。Here the topic is December. So the information is that it is the busiest month of the year. However, if we want to change the topic to The busiest month of the year, and the information is it's December. So here the topic is the busiest month of the year. 一年で一番忙しいの So here we have an e adjective. So 忙しいの no replace 月 So month. Busiest month. So instead of saying month, we replace month with no. 一年で一番忙しいのは12月です。Other examples. The time I lost my father is 10 years ago. Our verb is 亡くなりました。父が亡くなったのは So here no replace the word time or 時 or the moment. 父が亡くなったのは10年前です。父が亡くなったのは10年前です。I want skincare products made in Japan. Here we have an e adjective which is 欲しい want. 私が欲しいのは Here no replaces the word、uh, mono or thing. 私が欲しいものは、so, 欲しいのは日本製のスキンケアです。My favorite in Blackpink is Lisa. Here we have a na adjective, skina. Blackpink no naka de ichiban skina. Again, if we have a noun or an adjective, we add na and then no wa. So here no is a member. Skina member wa. Blackpink no naka de ichiban skina no wa. Lisa さんです。ブラックピンクの中で一番好きなのは Lisa さんです。The most recommended dish is tonkotsu ramen. Here we have a noun, おすすめ。おすすめ means recommendation. 一番おすすめな。Again, if it's a noun, we add な。一番おすすめなのは、so, おすすめなの。Is maybe a riori or dish, but we replace that with no. Ichiban osusume no wa tonkotsu ramen des. Ichiban osusume na no wa tonkotsu ramen des.
We can also replace the noun with an interrogative such as when, where, whose, and what. So if we want to ask um, information, for example, the new building will be finished when? So our verb is dekimasu to be finished. Atarashii biru ga dekiru no wa or so here no is the time. Itsu desu ka? When? Atarashi biru ga dekiru no wa itsu desu ka? The next Olympics will be held where? Our verb is okonaimasu to hold an event. Tsugi no olimpiku ga okonao no wa doko desu ka? Tsugi no olimpiku ga okonao no wa doko desu ka? So here, okonao basho. So that's why it's doko. Next, whose car is parked in front of the house? Our verb is tomemas or in this sentence, tomete arimas. Ie no mai ni tomete aru no wa dare no kuruma desu ka? So tomete aru no, no here is a car. Tomete aru kuruma wa dare no kuruma desu ka? So instead of saying kuruma, we can replace it with no. Ie no mai ni tomete aru no wa dare no kuruma desu ka? What is the most famous souvenir in your country? Anata no kuni no omiyage no naka de. So, among the souvenirs, ichiban yume na. Here we have a na adjective, yume. Yume na no wa. So, here no replace souvenir or omiyage. Ichiban yume na omiyage. Instead of saying omiyage, we say no. Anata no kuni no omiyage no naka de ichiban yume na no wa nan desu ka? Next is nani nani toki. So just like nani nani no, nani nani toki is also treated as a noun. That's why when you attach it to something, you can add different types of particles to it. So, nani nani toki means the moment or the time, nani nani. For example, I remember my family like when I'm tired or lonely. So here, we're talking about the time when you are tired or lonely. Skareta toki. Ya. So here, he is enumerating um, different moments or more than one. Skareta toki ya. Sabishi toki. Kazoku wo omoidasu. Skareta toki ya sabishi toki kazoku wo omoidasu. So again, um, skaremashita is changed to its plain form. Skareta toki. Another example, I have been living in New York since I was born. Umareta toki. So since I was born. Umareta toki kara. Zutto New York ni sundeimas. Umareta toki kara zutto New York ni sundeimas. When I first went to Europe was the most fun. So here the moment, the first time I went to Europe. Yoropa e hajimete first time. Yoropa e hajimete itta toki. So the moment, the time, the first time I went to Europe ni so here it's just a particle of time. Ichiban tanoshikatta desu. Yoroppa e hajimeta itta toki ni ichiban tanoshikatta desu. Yoroppa e hajimete itta toki ni ichiban tanoshikatta desu. I found pictures of when I graduated or graduation pictures. Sotsugyo shita toki no of when I graduated. Sashi no mitsuketa. Sotsugyo shita toki no sashi no mitsuketa. Hai, ijo desu. Kono lesson wa dou desu ka? Before we end this lesson, I have one question for you. Anata no kuni no omiyage no naka de 
一番有名なのは何ですか Make sure to write your answers in the comment section below. はい、もし質問かコメントがあったら、下に書いてくださいね。あとはこのビデオが役に立ったら、Like ボタンと Subscribe ボタンを押してください。And also don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future lessons. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. またねー。